in three, two, one. <laughs> So a lot of us have already seen bullets underwater, even in high speed, but today we're going to take a much closer look at what some of those bullets do as they're interacting with the water, especially hollow points. We're going to see how hollow point compares to FMJ, how handguns compare to rifle calibers, just get a really unique look at all those dynamics going on. To add one more dynamic to it, we have a Ballistic Dummy Lab head. We're going to be placing him in the box and seeing how much water do you need to save your life from a bullet. And hopefully he will survive another episode because he's been through what, four, five? five? I don't know. He's been around for a while. He's been around. So he's been around. We'll see if he survives today. So welcome back to Ballistic High Speed. An episode I have been wanting to get to for a while now. My buddy Paul at Cool Guy Metal made us this steel box with a nice thick piece of Lexan so that Bryce can get some real good look at the actual entrance. I've only ever seen bullets get shot down into a tank. We're actually gonna be entering in the middle of the box. That should be good. Yeah, so I think it'll be pretty cool. And of course, painted white for science. Naturally. And then we've got our calibrated distances here so we can get some very accurate deceleration, velocity, g-forces, all that good stuff. I bet if we put the head here, he'd be safe. I think we'll find the round laying on the tank about that strike. You think so? That's okay. my guess. I, I don't think it's going to touch him at all. I don't think so either. Okay. No, I think I we're think... playing it pretty safe back here. See if he can survive again. He's been put through some really strange stuff. <laughs> I don't know if I can focus through this tape or not. Not really. That is what a so weird sight from here. Looking. <laughs> All right, let's shoot this thing. <laughs> it just warped. As we get started with our nine millimeter, this was sent to us by Kerr Ammo. You can check them out at kirammo.com. They sent this out and some of the 45 we're gonna be using and it's also gonna be handy for an episode we have coming up that you guys are gonna love. Check them out. Their website has tons of really cool features. You can get free shipping on a bunch of stuff, same day shipping. So really good at finding unique and specialty ammo. And they're also a family owned business based in Texas, which I absolutely love. Since we're doing nine millimeter, you know it's gonna be the Terran Tactical Pit Viper. And while we're on the topic of giving shout outs, we of course have to hit up SDI, the Sonoran Desert Institute, where you can go find them at sdi.edu and you can get your start in gunsmithing and you can even study ballistics, which is a lot of what we're going to be studying today. So let's go do it. High speed ready? Yep. All right. Nine millimeter into the water box in three, two, one. Whoa. What in tarnation? That was so much more violent than I expected. That was a cool sound too. Weapon's clear. He looks okay. Where's the bullet? Back there. There she is. <laughs> Damn. I don't see blood. He must be okay. That was so much more violent than I anticipated. I'm scared for the rifle rounds now. I'm curious what happens to FMJ in water. It has a nick. So it might have hit something? Did it make it? I found it like right here, so I was way off on my guesstimate. I thought it was going to land like here somewhere. He's fine. So it wasn't a straight. So at some point it had to have curved around. We have ways of finding out. You mean high speed? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, nice tumbling a lot. Twi look at those twisting like. That would have been a forehead shot for sure. Oh, look at that water kicking up now. Holy smokes. That was a lot more energy than I thought was gonna happen. Does he come out? Like Almost, <laughs> yeah. Wow. So we might need to rethink our distance here. 45, 45 should slow down faster. Correct, because it's more surface area and it's slower. Well, the hollow point should slow down pretty darn quick. Yeah. So maybe let's just move him back a foot or so. Okay. I want him to be like in danger. Well, know this. When we get to rifles, guarantee he gets killed. So it'll happen. Ooh. All right. Moving up into the 45, we have this black and copper SIG P220. Kind of goes nice with this. Let's see if fatter 
slows faster. It slows faster. I think so. You know what I'm talking about. All right. High speed is ready. All right, 45 into the water box. In three, two, one. Pretty similar. Yeah. I don't see any blood. I don't either. Okay, let's see how far that bullet went. You see it on the other side? I don't see it anywhere. It better oh. not be in him. Oh, it was right underneath oh. him. What's it look like? It has a small dent. He survived again. Ooh. That would have hit his in the chin. Spot. Yeah. Look at all that water. That's so cool. Oh, Whoa, what was cavitation that one? bubble. Another one. Is it the shadow of one? I think it's on the surface of the Lexan because that oh, cavitates off too. Okay. That was like a split second and the water is just like. So I think nine millimeter went a little further than 45. So I'm curious what that open pocket of a hollow point will do. It's gonna fill with water instantly and that water is gonna wanna go somewhere. So seeing this and the hollow point should slow down faster Yeah. to keep our risk level kind of fun. You wanna move him in? I kinda wanna go up one back to the original. Back to the original or split the difference? Cause that was still moving when it was here. All right, we'll split the difference. Split the difference. All right, still with the SIG P220 for the 45, but now we're going to shoot a federal Jacketed hollow point Hydra shock. So now we're gonna get a direct comparison, same weapon, same distance, same conditions, a full metal jacket to a jacketed hollow point. And high speed is ready. All righty. In three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Oh, is that it right down there? Oh, right here. Wait, wait, what is oh. that? Did Total separation. separation. What? So the copper and lead came apart? Oh, how cool is that? Wow. I don't think a lot of this was there. Oh yeah. Is he okay? He yeah. seems fine. Interesting. I think it scraped some of our paint there. I wonder if we're gonna see that peel off in the high speed. I we hope we do. Got That'd to, right? That'd be cool. Let's get some more water in here and watch some cool high speeds. Yeah, that's gonna take a minute. <laughs> Don't mind the shirt, it protects it from water. <laughs> Did you see that? Right there. Whoa, wait, that's what? crazy. So the little fins that come up all snapped off immediately. And then there's still the rest of the jacket around yeah. the back of the bullet. And I think that starts to come apart. Look at how slow that got. That rotation. That's crazy. It's almost like a perfectly flat surface now. That right. looks slow, but this is, you know, 100,000 frames a second. So oh. let's see how far it went, because it looks like that's not going to go very far. It shouldn't. That slowed down super quick. So fast. That's pretty much done now. It's still spinning. Yeah. It's like a little turbo. Oh, there's the jacket, the main jacket okay. part. Okay. okay. That makes sense. And it's just done. So now. Well, I think we've learned. Normal FMJ rounds go pretty darn far underwater. Hollow points stop within two feet, two feet. looks like. At okay. least that particular one did, the Hydra shot. So if you could get to the bottom of a shallow end. Yeah, easy. It'd be like, it'd be like, yeah. <laughs> and then just like stop on your nose. So the question is, do you have to go to the deep end for rifles? I bet you do. Okay. So do um, we just move him all, all the, the way, way to the back? <laughs> okay. Alrighty, kicking off the rifle, my favorite cartridge. This is the 223, and we're gonna be firing it out of my 223 Wild. Alrighty, 223 into the water box. In three, two, one. Holy crap! <laughs> our water. That looks like our dude survived. Okay. No blood in the water. Good. Yep. yep. Okay. Where's our bullet? Bullet. Ooh, it's flat. Whoa, it looks like someone just smashed. Really flat. We're filming on a nice sunny day when we finally had dry ground, and then this is the episode we This is do. fine. <laughs> well, let's go see what happened. Yeah, that's interesting. Whoa. Oh. 
That stopped after like 18 inches. It just shot straight down. Yeah. Look at that collapsing cavitation. Yeah, that's kind of what I wondered with the rifle rounds, because they're so skinny and kind of long. If it yaws at all, it's going to ramp into that, and oh. all of that long surface area is now going to be the, the resistance. I think it, it did it within six inches, and it just takes a dive by the time it's at a foot. That's crazy. The cavitation actually gets thicker where it did that flip. You get the widest bubble there. Huh. I expected better results, 223. Yeah. So watch this front edge right there. See that? It, oh. it split that seam. It just shoves water right through it, splits it apart. And then it like sure re-adheres to itself. Did. Wow. And since it's the wild, we can also shoot this 556. This is the, I believe it's like the newest NATO round with a steel core in it. So I'm very curious to see is there any advantages to having the steel core versus just your standard ball ammo? High speed? All good. In three, two, one. <laughs> good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Holy smokes. Was this from before? All of these bits? Ooh, could have been. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is fine. Yeah, this, no, this is great. This will be dry by fall. No new holes. Wait, is that, is that it? What is this thing? Is that just the steel? Hey, what is this? What the? Is that it? That's the steel. Oh, that's what I thought gosh, might happen. It is. Isn't yeah, that what I, I said? I was like, it'd be so cool if this, yeah. But it sits just like that. And then that's all of the, just the jacketing, I guess. Oh, so it, it probably did similar to the 45 hollow point. It shed a bunch of stuff immediately. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. Some would say it's pretty wild. Nah. Get it? <laughs> Whoa! What? That looks like a frag grenade. Yeah. It's like a bird. And that's instantly. It's like there, the tip's touching the water. The next frame, it's already ejecting. So if you look at the bullet, there's the steel tip and then there's a gap and then the copper starts. I think the water dug into that gap and shredded yeah. all of that copper off. So then we've got the steel and immediately it tumbles and snaps off of the back of the bullet. Wow, that's like six inches? If that, yeah. So it's already <laughs> broken in half. Oh I man. Gonna, I don't think this box is gonna take a 308. It doesn't look like it's going down or up very quick. It may have got some distance on it. So I think the bullet just rid right behind that part of the frame and then went down behind him. Interesting. That did a lot better than 223. Because 223 by two feet was smacking, which is what this tip did. But the back right. part stayed pretty darn straight. I don't think this box is going to survive 308. It's more mass. It's thicker. It's longer. That's now cracked and it's a hollow point, which means it's gonna, and a bunch of energy is gonna do that quickly. Put him at the first what it, bolt and- The first bolt? First uh, bolt. Oh man. I want him dead. Dead? Dead. Hmm. All right, so, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down with that. All right. Kill Who him. doesn't want to see what happens if somebody's head gets shot on Well, we'll look at the dislikes and we'll know. Okay. There we go. Don't dislike Don't it. do that. Don't Hit the subscribe button. button or we're not showing the high speed. All righty, up next for the rifles and probably the last shot, a 308 hollow point. And I absolutely cannot resist any chance I get to break out the Terran Tactical Harbinger. Easily the best shooting rifle I've ever got to use. Okay. Want to blow up a water box? I mean, I don't want to, but I just think it's going to happen. All right, let's find out. Okay. All right, this is a hollow point 308 into this guy's head in three, two, Whoa. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> That's exactly what we thought would happen. I got soaked. Whoa. <laughs> hey, we got a fractured skull. We hit him? Is that from concussion force or do you think it hit him? I don't see a hole. Is that a dead center no shot? Is that a bullet entrance? I'm confused. I think it is. You see the bullet in there? Man, I wanted to get a sea of red. So the bullet's in him, or did it go through? I think, there's only like little chunks. Dude, we destroyed it. What are you kids doing on my lawn? 
Well, that's a 308. That's going to be some really cool high speed, I feel like. And that's, I mean, that's a wrap. <laughs> that was, that was like a small explosive went off right there. I'm 15 feet back and this you got so was good. just a jet. Just poof. Can you tell we're from Indiana? We shoot off lawn chairs. <laughs> that's going to be good high speed. Let's go watch it. All right. Oh yeah. Ooh, that was a good one. Oh, we're going to see it snap or something. Oh, oh right yeah. there. Look at all those floating pieces <laughs> of copper. So it's in him. I didn't see anything come out the back. Yeah. It did the frag grenade thing. Yeah. I hope we caught that on the 2512. It slowed down just enough. So we got the kill shot. Yeah. We got the box breaking. We got a 308 hollow point performance shot. We got Water. that. We just didn't get the red Z. Yeah. I think the blood packs are just all in the head. Up in the brain. Yeah. That's so cool. Whoa! What? It performs so well for like... Whoa, look at that. Ignition right on the surface. The tip fills with water. Banana peels right there. Oh man, it just explodes. And then I bet when that collapsed, that's what shot me with water. Yeah, this big bubble right there. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's all coming your... Oh, whoa! There's the crack. Well, the good rule of thumb is if it looks cool on the camera. I was just gonna there. say that. Well, it's true. <laughs> what Sounds an interesting funny. episode. Kind of a shame we only got one episode out of the box. Uh, <laughs> we will rebuild. <laughs> if we make a taller one where we can see more, I think shotgun slugs, 50 cal, will just go all the way. Make it to where the shooting hole can actually see the blood packs. Yes. Because I want to see somebody get shot in the head underwater. Do you want to see somebody get shot in the head? I want to see somebody get shot. I wasn't asking. I was asking them. I wasn't asking you. All right, well, thanks for watching this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned some stuff. I certainly did. I didn't know that a jacketed hollow point would be so darn cool I know. in high that speed. Was, that was amazing. I've seen full metal jackets in water before. I think a lot of us have seen those, like we said in the intro. The hollow point 308, the steel tip 556, yeah, that and was cool. the jacketed hollow point 45. Those were all super cool. Crazy how fast they separate in water. With how fast some of those were slowing down, the hollow points, I wouldn't be surprised if it was boiling water on the surface of that. Oh, that'd be sweet. That's a wrap for uh, this box. We'll get another one made. I want to do. I want to do some tracers underwater. We do merch. Merch. We have some merch. Yep. Um, this... We have a new shirt coming out soon. Yeah. Actually, uh... it's available now. We just don't have one yet. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll see you in the next episode. Please subscribe. Later. Where are you going? Nowhere. Oh. I'm suspicious. I'm gonna walk this way. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> he's, he's still alive. He's still alive. Get now! him! <laughs>